All right, everyone, we're back for more Pokemon Shield. The three starters run. We haven't gotten to the ability to trade yet, so it's still just me and Cryboy. Our little Sobble. Look at that little guy. Such a cutie. Um, we got a we got Mr. Gift, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into that because I am gonna be restarting this game to you know get the other starters. So we're gonna ignore that for right now. Let's check the Pokedex though. What does it look like in this game? Oh, that's cute. The map has, like, uh, it shows what's on the route, and it shows, like, recommendations of things. That's pretty cool. Let's see a little Sobble. When it gets wet, its skin color changes, its skin changes color, and this Pokemon becomes invisible, as if it were camouflage. I love it. He's such a cutie. I love his little sad face. Alright. Let's see if we can head forward and, uh, see how quick we, we can unlock trading. Got your Pokedex from Sonya, and it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling a strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling another trainer can do. But luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. That's just good marketing, kids. Come on, Derek. I bet you've never been inside one. I like the look. It looks very similar to the other game, the past few games. Level with me. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Uh, of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. Yep. If you two, if you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm headed to Route 2. Come find me. Maybe when you're done here. Okay, so we got shops in this Pokemon Center it looks like. Got some questions, uh, write a nickname, remember move, forget a move, ooh. I wonder if this guy is in every town or just this town? Either way, that's good to have this early. It's true well, Pokemon can be scary, but once they become your allies, there's nothing more reliable. Uh, I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully hear your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free. Uh, welcome to the Pokemon, may I help you? Yep, still no Pokeballs. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Boop, boop, boon, doo. Thanks for waiting. You saw we should be all better now. Hope to see you again. Nope, nope. Trying to talk to the PC. I like how it's a Rodan. Oh, you can keep extra Pokemon in your Pokemon boxes, your own boxes. Uh, terminals Rotami. Find the Pokemon centers everywhere. Okay, as is usual. See you later. Hee <laughs> hee, this month's birthday horoscope is got on. Hmm, do you want to tell you your fortune too? Sure. Okay, in that case, can you tell me the month you were born? Oh, not 87. Next, I need to know what day you were born. Okay, spoiler alert to everyone. I got it. Yes. Since you were born on August 25th, your fortune is... Let's see here. Hmm. What's the stain here? Oh, it must be for my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. Anyway, see you later. I guess that's important because now the game knows my birthday. And so does everyone else in the world, I suppose. In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up. In the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine life without. Is that sushi? Berries. I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in something? Berries are nice. They're held items that yeah, you do stuff. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer just like Leon. Having a meal through Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. We got a Poké Doll. It attracts the attention of Pokémon and lets you escape. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. Oh nice. So you can play dress up. <laughs> I might do that uh, a little later since I'm not gonna be, you know, saving the game. Or saving this character in particular. 
Thanks for coming by, and do feel free to use our changing room whenever you'd like to. If you want to put something on your bot, go ahead and use the fitting room. Yeah, we might give a might give myself a little redesign later. Listen, I've been thinking, if you're a Pokemon trainer, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate! The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge a champion. But the trick is, you gotta be endorsed if you want to take part, and Lee doesn't see to ping him up with your snuff. So I'm thinking, I have to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You gotta take part too. Proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to grow stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down on the end of the route too, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. Okay. I like this dude's hat. Sonya and Leon used to be, have a healthy rivalry, but... Leon loves Pokemon, and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. In order to bring up the full strength, the Pokemon trainers must be knowledgeable. I really like, uh... Hey, you see the house in the distance? The purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. I really like how they, you know, I mean, they section the area off, but they made it look like a full town. Like, you can see, you know, in old games there used to just be, like, two or three houses, the Pokemon Center, and that's it. Now it actually, like, kind of has the look of a full town. Where did I find a revive? I wonder if those shinies are random or if they're uh, always in the same spot. Over here. Alright, Derek, it's time we filled our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You need to catch a Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling out the Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some Pokemons, but poor against others. That's the reason you want to catch different Pokemon, to cover another's weakness. Now let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. It's a Bolu! Go look at D! This is the way the real champion uh, catches Pokemon. Uh, my dude, you gotta weaken it first, duh. Okay, he's got 50 Pokeballs. I like how it zooms in with each shake. So it's three shakes and a click. Well, it's not always. You can do critical captures too, those are a thing. Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Jesus, 20 Pokeballs? My god, dude! The Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on any trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep changing and growing as you get stronger, no doubt. But even I don't know how exactly, exactly how yet. Show your champion something real good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees us. Now that I know you need endorsements, I can see why he's got, uh, sponsors. Oh, what's the little foxy? Oh, it's a sad little fox! It's a nicket! Oh my god, it's cute. I must have it. Is it fire-type, I wonder? It is red. Nope, not super effective, so I guess it's not a fire type. Could be dark. Or it could just be normal, too. Any we'll use pound. Drop down a bit. Go ahead and catch it. Alright. Let's catch this little foxy. So, I'm gonna want to catch one of everything. I am indeed gonna catch them all. At least all that I can. And, uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna catch one, because I need something to trade, basically, so I can start this three, uh, three starters run. And then once I have all three of them, then I'm gonna go on a catching spree and catch everything I can. But right now, nick it. Oh, it is dark. Okay. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with a swipe of its tail and makes off with its plunder. I like it. 
the question is, is, um, do I have the ability to trade? Or do I have to go to town? No, you know what? What's this? Is that a... Oh my god, it's a derp turtle! It's a choodle! Look at that chomper! It's such a derp! Everything in this game is derp looking, I love it! Oh man, I, I already... See, I'm just gonna start with all three starters, but I have no idea what other ones I'm gonna want because I love all the designs. <laughs> They're so, like, derp. But, um, I don't know why I'm just using Pound instead of Water Gun. I'm kind of just- oh, yeah, that's that's what I figured. It looks like a Water Type, but I wasn't sure. Early game Water Type, that's interesting. Wait, 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 did Nika get experience too? Do you always have the experience share? That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, well I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna unlock trading, so I'm just gonna try to get to the uh, professor as quick as I can, and maybe uh, I'll be told what, when I can do that. Because normally you get like a pokey gear or something, and it's like, you can you can now uh, link up. Although I didn't see anything in the pokey gear. It's probably one of these three other options that I, the many you're gonna go fill up with. At least that's my guess. I like how it zooms in when a person, uh, a trainer is nearby. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. I like his little shirt. Youngster Jake. His music's intense. It's got a squabbit. I love its little cheeks. Alright. Just go and just go and water gun it to death. That's crazy that all Pokemon get experience now. That's uh, that's a big deal. But it looks like your your the ones you put in battle do get more. You defeat youngster Jake. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at him. All right, let's see if we can't uh, get through here without with as little battles as possible. Trainer tips: Pokemon gain experience by battling other Pokemon. Helps them grow stronger. If you catch a Pokemon, you're battling against, yeah. Two potions. Cool, we multi items. That's a nice uh, feature. Three Pokeballs? Oh, this game throws Pokeballs at you, geez. Uh, could skip the trainer, but. Cute and strong together in combination. You challenged by Last Lauren. Got a choodle. Should probably heal Sobble. Probably should have used Devotion before the fighting. But, uh. Uh. Let's see. If I start with Growl, I should be fine. Yeah. Go ahead and use a potion. I have 11 HP still, actually. We're fine. just to use pound honestly let's see he's doing only two after the growl so we should be able to take him out and uh, yeah we don't need these potion we're fine unless I got a critical hit which you didn't but worst case scenario I did have uh, Nick it We did less Lauren. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Got 504 for winning. 
I wonder if since you can see all Pokemon on the field, if that means that you'll uh, you'll be able to see if there's a shiny. Go ahead and use a potion. Alright, I couldn't beat Hap, but I'm gonna beat you. Youngster Benjamin. A blip bug. Oh my god, it's got like a little tie. Look at those giant anime eyes. Struggle bug. It's a pretty it's, struggle bug's actually a decent move, um, for level five. Special attack drops, we're actually gonna use pound. There we go. It's about to send out a naked. Um, nah. Use water gun. It's got quick attack. Makes sense. I like how it's kind of like little pompous. I like the look on quick attack. Uh, pound might actually be stronger. Water gun does give me stab, which is, uh, for those who don't know, um, if you use a- oh nice critical hit. If you use a move that is the same type as you, you know, Sable being water, so if you use a move that is the same type as you, you get a, uh, same type, uh, attack bonus, or stab as people- as it's called. Basically it adds 50% to its damage. Lose to wild Pokemon. Lose to many trainers. 420. I like the little, little battle setup she's got. What is a uh, Goldeen? And there's a bubbling spot right here. I'm gonna fish just because I want to see what it's like in this game. Uh, can't fish from your bag. So, wait, how do I use it? I'm not. I'm not trying to fish for my bag, I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Oh, shouldn't have skipped by that so quick. It's a choodle. Ah, uh, we're just gonna run. I, uh, I really didn't mean to pass by that menu so quickly. Uh, let's see if I can go into... The adventure guide and see what that what that said. Okay. If you see shadows and waters, you're likely to find Pokemon lurking beneath. Face such a shadow and press A to cast your line, try to catch a fish. If your rod shakes, press A once more. Okay. So you just go to them and press A. You don't have to mark it as your favorite or go to the bag. So noted. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over the research, but... Pokemon Professor actually truly looks like an old professor, which I like. Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now, come, let's head indoors. I'm trying to figure out what's on her little staff. Is that a Spiro? No, it's a Pidgey, I think. Why, Hop Deer, I see. Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Derek. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. I actually really appreciate that this professor is like, you know, there's more to this world than just Pokemon. Hey, professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Derek only just started as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. 
That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokémon, in fact. Whoa there, dude, calm down. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you two... If the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Derek. She got a choodle. It says squee. And she has a husband. Or maybe not a husband, I'm just guessing. Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Why does her house sound like it's made of water? What's that crunching sound? That's weird. Getting upstairs. Alright, she's got a little hair dryer and a brush on her bed. I like that. <laughs> I really like how the houses, they feel like, like full houses. What's behind her house? Gotta explore. That's a TM, isn't it? Payback. You can tell they're TMs because they have a yellow color. Payback's a pretty good move to get early on. Um, I think Sobble's actually pretty fast, so it's not gonna be super good on him. Uh, you've gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need to need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come out with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. I may regret rushing through and not catching anything, but we'll see. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle, too. Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learned from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. I'm sure it won't be hard. It, these beginning fights never are. You're challenged by Trainer Hop. I like how his music is really happy. Like, it's really energetic. Oh, hey, he's already got three Pokemon. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. I mean, I didn't really do any sort of anything that could be considered grinding, so uh, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I've got potions. This should not be a problem. Jeez, I l you get s experience so fast in this game. Got a score bunny? Absolutely not. I really like like the 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 di oh jeez, I couldn't speak there. I really like the dynamic backgrounds. I like how you can see like her house in the background and everything, and it moves around uh, the cameras. Well, look at you! Seems you really learned your type matchups. Kicked in the face. Jeez, that tackled him a good amount. Although Square Bunny, I'm sure, is a physical attacker. Level 11. 22 attack and 20 speed. We got Rookity. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. I, I don't I don't think it's gonna be a close one. Yeah, you're at level 5. So, water gun. I'm wondering if all, uh, if, like, the way experience works, if, like, the lead one gets 100% and then everyone else gets, uh... It's, it's not quite, like, half. It's It looks like it's about 75%. But I'm wondering if you have... If you have a full 6 team... Um... Then I wonder if... you get, like, everyone gets the full amount. Or how that works. Not the full amount, but, like, a percentage. Make it learned hone claws. Oof. Gutted that and I lost. But I expect nothing less from my rival. Yeah, 640 from winning. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to two of us getting stronger, right?
Derek, Hop, well after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You obtained the letter of endorsement. A letter of recognition that you'll need to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm gonna win you my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement and every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to, the, to get caught up in the things, like how, how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense. But it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Derek. Alright. You and me are going to train up against one another and aim for the champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more Pokemon will grow. Huh, what's that? Oh, uh, okay. It was like a shooting star. They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Alright. Uh, stone found the Gala region with mysterious power. It's said that your dreams will come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes. Uh, okay. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down on those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now. I actually only said it twice because I didn't want to yell. <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on that. Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then, uh, please, give Derek and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First, we got to battle against that mad Pokémon on the Slumming Wheel. Now this, it feels like we're getting really caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in the time for all this excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not come have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessing with making the latest trending curries. I like the little uh, reprise or re remix of the Poké Center music. I like how she twirls her hair. It's morning at last, and time for adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokémon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Eh, well there's this weird heavy fog and this even weirder Pokémon appeared. Derek tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It was- it's all pretty hazy. A right fountain of information you are. Derek, Hop, these are for you. What are we getting? Got a little... Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slapped it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Okay. So Dynamaxing is a new feature. Um, I don't really know anything about it other than that it's a thing. I don't know what it does. I don't know who and what can. I don't know what effects it has. I don't know how it's used. Basically, I just know that it exists. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it works in this game. Uh, those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not as so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That'll help you fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Derek. I'll beat you to the station. Oh, hey, I've got a little Y symbol in the bottom. Ycom. Ycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You'll be welcome to swap Pokemon, take part in Poke Battles, and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. When stamps arrive in Ycom while you're out on your adventure, it means other trainers are around and looking for someone to connect with. Press Y to see who's around. 
Normally, you can use Wicom to connect with people close by, but if you press the plus button and connect to the internet, you'll be able to connect with people all around the world. Select a stamp that shows the silhouette of a Pokémon on it. You'll be able to team up with your fellow trainers in battle. Cool, so I can do Link Trade, Surprise Trade, uh, Link Battle, Profile, Search Stamps. So, I think that being said, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna save it here, right outside the house. And, um, what I'm gonna do is... Basically, next time you see me play, I will have all three starters, and I'll restart, and then I'll go on a catching spree after that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade one of my friends. Uh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trade one of my friends, my Sobble, and then I'm going to restart, and then I'm going to get a Grookey, and then I'm going to go all the way here, and then uh, a Square Bunny. Actually, um... Kind of sad that I, I started with Sobble, because Sobble's the one I really want uh, to play through the game with. I mean, I want to play through with all of them, obviously. It's a three-starter run. But, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and get all three starters, and uh, episode three we'll start with the three of them. So that's a good episode to, to do, Don. It fits and it like and it works. I like it. So we'll see you in the next one, everybody. We'll have all three starters by then, and we'll get going, and we'll go on a catching spree, and uh, we'll see you then. Hope you're excited, because I know I am. I can't wait to figure out what this Dynamax thing's all about, too.